Hello and welcome to the sixth lecture, Molecular Dynamics Force Fields, where we will discuss on tertiary force field. So we are continuing our discussion on molecular dynamics theory. And we have already introduced the empirical uh, pair potentials, that is Lennard-Jones potentials. And previous in the previous lecture, we have discussed interatomic potentials, EAM, embedded atom model. Uh, that is a semi-empirical model. And currently, uh, we are discussing interatomic potentials, a new uh, force field that, he, that works on uh, and prefers bond order to define the potential energy in a system. Uh, as a flashback, as you can uh, remember that embedded atom model uh, thinks as if the atoms are immersed in, a, in an ocean of uh, electron density field. So uh, aside from the simplistic definition of the force field or interatomic potential, we have to also include this electron uh, gas density term in our definition. And now tertiary potential, which is also a very uh, popular potential, it is a bond order potential. Uh, let's define what, what is bond order. Let's say uh, in a system, uh, when you are uh, defining a molecule, uh, there are several number of bonds, right? Um, possibly there are several ionic or covalent bonds. The bond order is uh, when, it, when you consider two atoms, the number of covalent bonds shared between these two atoms is called their bond order. So this is also uh, you can take into consideration when make a force field. So aside from their position, if you consider their bond order and add a term related to that bond order, then uh, your force field actually becomes more comprehensive and more realistic uh, because you are uh, considering the bond order and uh, covalent bonds are taken into consideration. And when you do that, it's actually tertiary of uh, interatomic potential. So uh, you can see the functional form here. Um, and this is just a map like how the potential energy actually varies uh, in, uh, with respect to interatomic distance when you actually uh, defer or uh, change the bond order in, in the system. Uh, you can see uh, that you can make a map of uh, interesting distance versus potential energy uh, in the system. So that's kind of a high level introduction to tertiary potential. Uh, right now, it's not necessary to go into the very detail of how these bond order potential works or how uh, pair potential or EAM works, but now you can get a vibe that how uh, a system is defined in terms of potential energy. So. In the next lecture, we'll continue uh, our discussion on force fields or interesting potentials. Thanks.